Hello, welcome to CPS Web Tips. My name is Steve Bertrand, and I'm a senior process developer at Clear Process Solutions. Today's topic is manually migrating foundation scripts to the new Wind Shuttle Evolve Studio 20.2. When migrating the scripts, there's three basic steps that I recommend. First, prepare your foundation scripts for the migration. This is be this will be where you'll download your transaction scripts, your transaction data templates, your query scripts, your query data templates. Step two involves Studio. This is where you'll take your uh, downloaded scripts and data files. You'll import your script. You'll map the data template. You'll update the script version if necessary. Save. Submit to Evolve. And then step three will be within Evolve, depending on your company's policy for approval of the script to production. You want to validate the script had moved successfully. And then finally, begin using the updated scripts. Let's take a look at how this would happen. Here's an example of our foundation library. You would select your transaction scripts, and then we'll just download one. You'll click download a copy. Next, you'll want to select the associated data template. Select on data templates, and then find the associate data template for that script. Select download a copy. Next, what you want to do is go ahead and open that data template. Once the Excel file is open, what you want to do is right click on the bottom tab and click unhide. This is where you'll see there's a Wind Shuttle Studio tab. Select OK, and you'll want to delete this hidden file and select delete. Make sure you save your file and then close. The next step will be to go over to the Studio 20.2. Once you log into Studio, I recommend that you come over to the, the File and Account tab on the left-hand side and verify that the Evolve site and app is correct. If it's not, this is where you'll change it before you get started. Next, what you want to do is open your downloaded file. Select computer. And you can browse to wherever location it was downloaded. In this example, ours were in downloads. We'll select the Wind Shuttle script. Select open. Next, you'll want to click on the map tab. And then select open a different data file. This is where you'll select your downloaded data file that we just modified. In our example, it's under downloads. Select open. You'll get a confirmation pop up. Do you want to save the changes to untitled? Just select no. Next, you want to select the file tab. And you want to save. At this point, depending on what version the uh, scripts are in, you can update the version. You want to make sure that it's version 11.0 or above, and then save the script file. Next, you'll go to the Evolve tab. You'll select, select Submit. What this will do is it'll pop up a Submit wizard. This is where you're, you have the opportunity to change the solution name, the solution description, and the sheet. Select Next. It'll give you a recap of the data template path and the solution name. Next is the solution file workflow. This, depending on your company's policy, is where the review process, so it could be a data or no data review process, review and post, one step, and so on. 
We're in a select no data review process. Next, the destination. This is the destination where the new script will go in Evolve. This could go under transactions or any of the custom uh, libraries that may be created. And then the reviewer, you can select the reviewer depending on your company's policy. And then next, the supporting documents is where you can add a, a Word file, a text file. Any supporting documents can be added. And then finally, the summary. This gives you a recap and is the final um, summary before submitting it to Evolve. One thing I always recommend is to verify that the Evolve site and the app is correct. Select Submit. And OK. Next, depending on your company's policy for approval, you can select My Workflow Task. And this will also be where you see your task reviewer, and you can select it. Select Approve, add a comment if needed. Select Approve. Next, let's take a look at Evolve. What you want to do is once you log into Evolve, you want to select your app and then come over to your solutions. And in this example, we selected the script to go into the transactions library. You can also see there's a few custom libraries we've created. Once you select the transactions library, you can see that the transaction script has migrated and is in production status. Next, you may want to uh, verify that the data template also moved. So you'll select templates, Excel, and then you can see that the data templates there. This is also where you can download the data template. So things to consider when manually migrating scripts. One is the preparation. Review your script library in advance for duplicates. I recommend you export the foundation library to Excel to keep track of what's been migrated. Second, naming your scripts consistently. It's a great time to rename scripts or update the naming of the scripts before they go into a ball. Third is organizing the scripts. One thing to consider with Evolve is the ability to create custom libraries. These can help with grouping scripts together or maybe grouping scripts by a department. If you have any questions, please reach out to our team. And thank you for your time.